Okay, it's Freddy Fifth Nine One Hundred. I'm sitting here today peeling with my motor, and I'm gonna show you what I got so far. I remember, I'm working. I'm just I'm getting started. Here's what it looks like. Let me back up a little bit. There you go. I'm still working. I still got. I think this right here is gonna have to be a four barrel intake. Well, it is four barrel intake. I just got to put a four barrel on because I can't find a reducer. I still got to put a timing chain in. I got the water pump that comes on. One thing I got to do though, I got to take and retap that. When I torqued it, or what they told me to, it pulled the, it pulled it, this piece, this piece here, out. So I got to replace that. So I'm just piddling right now. If I can get it in there. But new distributor I just got today. Uh, as you notice, I got black heads. I painted them black. Black is orange. You got the flywheel and everything for it. Uh, everything on here is brand new. New heads, new everything. Like I said, I got to put the timing chain on. Timing chain cover. Water pump goes from here. I got the poise put on it. I don't think I got it left to get. The headers. The headers. Go right here. What I gotta do is I got one, two, three, I got four plugs put in, but I can't figure out how the wiring's gonna, I could go here and here, but to go from back here, because this side right here is number, this side right here is number one. And I still got the oil pan to put on everything. But this is what my project's looking like, man. This is what I've been, let me get a zoom in one. This is what I've been, this is what I've been doing on my oil fires. I'm squatching. This right here is what's going in the Jeep. That's right. This right here is going in the Jeep. That's going to be one badass little motor when I finish with it. Uh, I got the cross members that just came in, so I'm good on that part. And I'm thinking about getting some of them bolts that you screw in with your hand. I need four, so I need eight actually. Two for that side, and two for, I mean four for that side and four for this side here. My wires be coming right here is number one. So around there. Number one, I gotta bring them down across here and bring them down from here all the way over to right here. This is number one and this over here is number eight on this side. So it goes so it goes two, four, six, eight, one, three, five, seven. The oil pan's gonna be black. Don't pay attention to my mess. I got a fan. Can really put that on. There's my pulleys and everything for the uh, uh, for everything. I'm gonna run two belts. Uh, there's my gasket set. Now, this is my junk shed. This is what I do everything in. Even though it's outside, let me show you, let me show you the area I'm working at. Let me show you what it looks like. This is my work shed. That stud going right up the middle right here and that cross member right there. If I didn't have that on, the shed would go bloop. Because that's why I pull my motors and everything out in there. You know, but <clears throat> that's the way it goes right now. Well, like I said, this is my project. This is what everybody's wondering what the hell I'm doing. So y'all can see now how it looks. And I'll have another video of it when I um when I finish it. Hopefully I got I'm gonna have to get Elderbrock or Rochester to put put on here. So it'll be sticking up about it'll be sticking up about about that high. So I have one so I have one slamming little bastard man of a motor. Anyway I hope y'all enjoyed my little tinker toy. This is what I've been doing today. And it's Freddy with 59100, and I'll talk to you all later. Okay, I'm back, and I uh, just put a few more parts on. Took a gander here. There we go. That looks good. Now, if you notice, I got the back side black, but I got the front side like that. 
This is what it looks like. Pretty cool, huh? I like that. I just put a, uh, I just put the new motor mounts on. They look good. I got the hallmark balance on. I got the bottom pulley on. I got the water pump on. And I got the pulleys on and everything. All I really need is the, all I really need is the power steering pump and the alternator pump. That's all I really need. And she'll be ready to fire as soon as I get to, as soon as I get my headers in. I had to order another uh, wire for the piglet wire comes in the um um for the distributor but i ain't putting that in yet until i get so i'm gonna get everything ready then i'm gonna take um uh, well more or less turns and get it ready to go okay all i got left to do now is the oil pan but i'll do that later right now i'm just trying to get stuff uh, situated here i got everything together like i said you know i got my got all this together here I'm going to have to end up making this a four barrel, so I'm going to have a four barrel Elra block or a uh, Rochester, a big ass four barrel. But that's what it looks like so far. From the back, get those in there from the back, all the way around. to the front and to that side over there I admit I am not the best mechanic in the world but this is the first time I've dealt with Chevrolet motors really I just put this on here the OEM valve put that on there I got my gas linkage and everything on there I got that finally put on new bracket and everything I took this off old Chevrolet pickup now like I said I took this off the Chevrolet pickup truck and what I'm going to have to do is go back down there and get the carburetor. But like I said, I still got, still got that right there to worry about right there. i got to fix that. Once I get that done, I'm ready to go. And everything. i uh, got, got some bolts for it. And everything. Distributor goes here. Carburetor here. The intake. It's got a high rise on it, so it's not stock. Well, it is stock from the company, but it's a, it's a high performance part. And that's basically what it looks like right now. And once I finish the, uh, once I get the, uh, well, I got a starter right there. Let's see, yeah. I got a starter right there, which I got to clean up and paint. Yeah, it don't look too bad. But, as you can see, I got the thermostat inside there. Let me see if I can get a good zoom on here. Yeah, there's a thermostat. Let me get it right there. Right there's a thermostat right down there. But you got a lot of parts. You know, you got this right here. Let me back it up here. You got this. Anybody can tell me what these two ports right here are. Okay. And I need to know what this port right here, what this plug right here is for. Okay. I'm thinking that's a thermostat. I mean, I think that's the oil pressure gauge. I'm really not sure. That's where your oil filter goes. And we got this here. I'm not even sure if that piece right there goes there or not. I don't even can someone tell me what this piece right here is for. That hole right there. And then we got this here. I don't know what that's for. And this right here. This plug right here, I have no idea what it's for, but they're sitting on top of the thermostat housing. I know this right here is for one uh, line to the... Uh, um, heater hose. Here's the other one. I think you got an intake, you know, intake and exhale. I don't know how it works. But like I say, this one right here. Let's see. Yeah, this piece right here. Someone needs, I need to know, find out what these two ports right here are. Okay? And let's see here. Uh, da -da 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 -da. That's a new motor mount. Uh, that's the way she looks so far, folks. I hope you like it, because this will be the first time. I mean, it's pretty cool, you know. It's got orange and black. And, you know, don't look bad. It kind of looks like a zebra. <laughs> Motor mounts look good. I got the cross numbers and everything. 
So this is what it looks like so far. But I'll be continuing on and I'll give y'all a run back on it later. Let me get a zoom in here. Pretty cool, huh? And I do have it on top dead center. That's one thing I do have. All right, well, like I said, reminder, I need to know what these two right here are, these two pieces right here. I need to know what this one is, and this one over here, and this one right here. I have no idea what it is. Let me go around here and I'll show you. This piece right here, I just stuck it in, I don't know if it's the right place or not. And then this here. That's basically it. I think that's right there. Yep. Tid on it. So, anybody can help. I appreciate all the info I can get. And I thank you. And I'll ship it back later. Ah, God, that feels good.